having reviewed all of the aggravating factors proven beyond a reasonable doubt and all of the mitigating circumstances reasonably established by the evidence, the court finds that the aggravating factors greatly outweigh mitigating circumstances. Given the facts of the case, nothing in defendant's background or mental state would suggest that a, def that a death sentence is inappropriate. This court's review of other reported capital cases has led the court to conclude that the death penalty is not disproportionate in this case. Under the totality of the circumstances and evidence, the court finds no basis to override the jury's verdict. The totality of the circumstances warrants that the defendant, Wade Stephen Wilson, be sentenced to death for each count of first degree murder. Accordingly, it is ordered in a judge that the defendant, Wade Stephen Wilson, be sentenced as follows. Count one, first degree murder of Christine Melton. The defendant is hereby sentenced to death. Count two, grand theft of a motor vehicle. The defendant is sentenced to five years imprisonment in the Florida Department of Corrections. Count three, battery. The defendant is hereby sentenced to 364 days in the Lee County Jail. Count four, first degree murder of Diane Ruiz. The defendant is hereby sentenced to death. Count five, the burglary of a dwelling. The defendant is hereby sentenced to 15 years imprisonment in the Florida Department of Corrections. Count six, petty theft. The defendant is hereby sentenced to 364 days in the Lee County Jail. The defendant is given credit for all time served on this case on all counts. All counts are to run concurrent with each other, meaning at the same time. All statutorily mandated fines, fees, and costs as announced on the record are imposed. And the defendant is committed to the custody of the Department of Corrections for execution of this sentence as provided by law. The defendant is hereby notified that these convictions and sentences are subject to automatic review by the Florida Supreme Court. If he cannot afford an attorney to represent him in that, any appeal, the court will appoint one for him. Are there any other matters to present to the court? Briefly, Judge, the state would be seeking $17,500 cost of prosecution. I'm sorry, how much? $17,500, Judge. All right. Any objection? No, sir. All right. That will be imposed then. Any other uh, terms or conditions? Absolutely, Judge. We just want to make sure that Mr. Wilson has absolutely no contact with the victim's family. There will be no contact ordered uh, with any of the victim's family members. 